What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you 10 shortcuts that you need to know in Logic Pro. No matter if you're a beginner or advanced user, some of these you may not know, some of you may know, but let's get straight to it. Starting off very basic, the ones that you need to know, and this is not included in the top 10, is, well, the first one being Command S, and that is to save your session, very important. I use that pretty much after every change. It's so quick, Command S to save your session. Next, if you hit R on your keyboard, that's gonna go ahead and start recording from wherever your playhead is. If you hit Y on your keyboard, that's gonna bring up your library. If you hit I on your keyboard, that's gonna bring up your inspector window, likewise to close that. If you hit X on your keyboard, that's gonna bring up your mixer, likewise to close it. And if you hit P on your keyboard, that's gonna bring up your piano roll. So those are just quick hotkeys that you can use to bring up different scenarios in Logic. And you pretty much use your mixer and piano roll all the time. So to get in the habit of knowing X and P is a good habit. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you, and this is probably the most important one, to me at least, is the three accessible tools right here. In By default in Logic, you have two options here, but I added in the third one. And I'm going to show you how in a moment, but I'm just going to explain how to uh, adjust the two right here. So one of them being right here, their first one is essentially whatever your main mouse is, and then you left click and that's the editing option that you have. Your second option right here, if you hold down command on your keyboard, that is that option right there. So right now I got it set to a pencil tool and that quickly allows you to just, in this case, draw in MIDI regions. And this third tool right here is your right click. So as I click the right click, you'll see that tool come up. And right now I'm on the scissor tool. Now, of course, you could just hit T on your keyboard to bring up the tools and change it as you see fit. But this is way better. All right, so to bring in that third tool right over here, go to Logic Pro, go to Preferences General, go to Editing and make sure your right mouse button is select to is assignable to a tool. And this lets you have three at any given time. So your main one, your secondary one, and your third one. Makes editing really, really fast. All right, next up is in the recording stage. Let's say you got something on loop or you're just sort of playing around on the keyboard and you get an idea and you wish you recorded it because you go ahead and hit record and then you just can't replicate that. So in Logic, it's actually always listening to whatever MIDI input data you're giving it. So if I go ahead and just tap some stuff on my keyboard here, it didn't record, but if I go ahead and hit Shift R on my keyboard, there is everything that I put in. So you don't actually have to record your MIDI all the time. Like I said, if you're anything like me, sometimes you have a really good melody, but you go hit record and you forget what you did. This will help you out with that. But keep in mind, the Shift R only records everything from the last instance. So if I go ahead and hit sh delete that region and hit Shift R, I'm gonna get nothing until I actually play something more on my keyboard. Just like that. And this works with either the session not being played or if you're playing and you hit stop, hit Shift R, that works as well. So Shift R could be your best friend in remembering what you actually played. All right, next up is another quick hotkey and that is how to quantize. All you gotta do is select all your notes by selecting your notes like this or hit Command A. And then all you gotta do is hit Q on your keyboard and it will quantize to the selected value right over here. So in this case, I'm set to 16. If I hit Q and go to eight, it's gonna go like that. You get the idea, select your notes, hit Q and it will quantize to the time value right over here. All right, so the next one is how to quickly repeat either MIDI regions or MIDI data or MIDI notes. Select all your notes or whatever you wanna repeat, hit Command R and that will just repeat that. You can also use it as a repeat tool for regions. So just repeat like that. Or you can go ahead and option click on your keyboard, click and drag and that will duplicate and copy over that region as well also works for mini notes as well. All right, next one is if you're in the recording and you need to like, or editing, mixing, you need to loop a certain section really quickly, just go ahead and select your region, hit Command U, and that will automatically loop and cycle range that region right there so that you can quickly get to editing on that section very quickly. And you don't have to worry about doing that. You could just select your region, 
command U and you're good to go. All right, so the next one I wanna show you here is how to join regions. And now this only works on MIDI regions because with audio, you actually have to bounce in a place to join them. But on MIDI, if you select more than one region, so select three, hit Command J on your keyboard, that will go ahead and join those regions, whatever you selected. Once again, select both regions, Command J, and you're good to go. All right, next thing I wanna show you is how to zoom in and out in Logic very easily. I'm gonna show you three different ways and you can choose which one works for you. For me, this is the way that I like to use it because I have a mouse that has a scroll reel going up and down and a side scroll reel that goes left and right. So if I hold down option key on my keyboard and scroll the up down scroll, it's gonna scroll vertically. If I use the side scroll, it's gonna scroll horizontally. And that's how I like to zoom in and out in my sessions. This works on your regions or within the piano roll as well. But if you don't have a mouse like mine, that's okay. You can use your keyboard. Just go ahead and hit command on your keyboard. Hit the arrow right to expand horizontally. Arrow key down and up to expand vertically. And lastly, another way to show you how to zoom in on out. If you go ahead and hit control and option on your keyboard, it'll bring up the magnified tool. And you could just select and drag where you want to zoom on in. Once again, control option, select where you want to zoom on in, and there you are. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and just delete these regions right here. And I'm going to just tap something in on my keyboard, hit sh shift R, and there's the pattern right over there. I'm going to show you some things you can know in your piano roll right here. I'm just going to go ahead and quantize this, hit Q on our keyboard. Uh, to go up and down an octave is shift option up for up an octave or shift shift option down to go down an octave. You can also go up by semitone. So if you just hold down your option up, you can go up by semitone or down semitones. All right, so here is a logic session with a bunch of plugins open. Normally what we would do is just close them each down one by one, but that is something that is very time consuming. To get rid of them all at once, if you hold down your shift key and close one of them, it's gonna close all of them and you can get to working. And lastly, what I wanna show you right here is how to bounce in place really quickly. Sometimes you wanna go from a mini region to an audio region so you can manipulate it further. All you gotta do is select your region, go control B to bounce in place. Logic will do its thing and convert that to an audio region and it can go ahead and work from there. All right, so there is the 10 Logic Pro shortcuts that you need to know. Now you know them. If you do have any questions on this, we can go ahead and talk in the uh, comment section down below. If you wanna share some of your shortcuts with everybody else, also comment that down below. Very useful, shortcuts are very useful when working and recording, mixing any stage of the process. Shortcuts are always good to know. That's it for me, guys. If you did like to do my thumbs up and share it, and of course, hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later.